it's everywhere. It's one of those products that you never really think about, but whether you're going to buy toilet paper and tissue paper and cleaning up your house, or you're getting an Amazon box, you're always using paper for everything. really cool to be part of a sustainable process that's impacting people's lives in a positive way. Nearly two-thirds of the fiber that's used in the U.S. paper industry comes from those sustainable forestry practices. The remaining one-third comes from recycled fiber that comes from across the country. I was looking for a school that gave me an opportunity to do something environmental, uh, something with mission behind what they wanted to do. The paper science and engineering curriculum at ESF is a chemical engineering based curriculum. They focus on careers in the pulp and paper industry. The bioprocess side focuses on taking renewable resources and creating energy and chemical byproducts from that. I really excelled at math, chemistry, and physics and I really wanted to become a chemical or mechanical engineer, so paper engineering struck a nice balance. I transferred from a program that was in a similar type of process engineering vein, but just didn't have as many opportunities. It wasn't as well set up for graduation. I loved the atmosphere. I loved the east size of the school. It's also very close to Syracuse University, so you get the benefits from that as well. I thought it offered a good blend of large campus culture, but also, you know, small academic settings. As soon as I met the students in the department and I met some of the professors, I knew that this was the kind of place that I wanted to be in. Today I think that there are 34 students total in the paper science department and of that 14 are female. In this industry there aren't a ton of women so that like really inspired me because I like to be someone who puts a foot forward for women in the industry. A lot of benefits to being here. First of all, the scholarships pay for my entire tuition. On top of that, there is a great job outlook and a lot of opportunities for co-ops and networking. And then once you get out in the field, almost everybody you interact with at some mill is going to be a SUNY ESF graduate and that really helps with getting jobs and them helping you out in the industry. The coursework at ESF is very rigorous and it's very uh, intensive on the math and chemistry side of things. However, it is also very rewarding in the sense that there are merit-based scholarships that you can get from the Syracuse Pulp and Paper Foundation. So many job opportunities, so many different people from different industries all over the world. You receive a lot of money in your internships. I got to, starting my sophomore year, move to an apartment that was hundreds of miles from my hometown and work full-time at the mill. I was paying my own rent, paying my own bills, and really getting kind of a practice run of being an adult. You get to travel a lot and get to go to really cool places, so I got to see a lot of different things there than I normally would in just the college environment. Part of the paper program here at ESF is actually a study abroad opportunity located in Munich, Germany, Munich University of Applied Sciences. My favorite part about being in Germany was the fact that you got to experience a new culture and a new place in a new part of the world. This past summer, I worked in Saratoga Springs, New York for a chemical company, Solanus, and through that I worked at five different mills. I started my co-op in South Carolina with International Paper, and with that I did everything that I've learned at this school. So the back and forth of going from summer internship to classes to summer internship to classes really let me understand a great deal about the topic and the equipment I was working with. I interned with the company that I currently work for, Camara. When I was graduating, most of my friends, including myself, we all knew where we were going to work almost uh, the year before we graduated or the beginning of that senior year. I don't know of any other program that has such excellent job placement and starting salaries that are, for a lot of people, really the most important metric in college. In addition to the scholarships, the Syracuse Pulp and Paper Foundation also contributes money towards travel expenses for TAPI student summits. TAPI is the technical association of the pulp and paper industry. Every single year we go to a student conference. Last year it was in Charleston, South Carolina, and it's a way to network with companies, job interviews, and it's also a great way to meet other students that are also in paper engineering at different schools. We spent a lot of time socializing with people in the industry. They do luncheons, they have interviews there on site. I think that really helps students prepare for the real life situations. My education at ESF 
prepared me for the industry by really driving home problem solving skills and the need to work in teams. In addition to understanding the technical details of the papermaking process and the chemistry involved in the papermaking process. As general manager of the West Rock Salve Mill, my responsibilities include the safety, quality, cost, and production for the facility. With three paper machines, it produces over 2,200 tons a day. We operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Locally, at the Salve Mill, we host or employ one or two students throughout the year as part of an internship or co-op program. A trait that's very important is the ability to work in teams. It's really great to have all these people that are also on this journey with you that can help you out. We do potlucks and we do study groups. I think everybody that I graduated with came to my wedding the year after I graduated. I had two of them in my wedding party, so we were all very close. The mentality is that we're getting through this together because we all understand how difficult it is. At a lot of other colleges, you don't have that connection with your other students. A lot of times, it's a fight for the fittest, but here I feel like in the end, companies are coming in to recruit all of us, so there's really nobody fighting against each other for anything. There are so many great things about paper.